your majesty. Allow me to congratulate you in person on your marriage. I trust you received our present? Indeed. So thoughtful of you. A palace this size can never have too many teaspoons. It is so very nice to be back in England and know that one has not been forgotten. You know, on the way here, I was actually cheered. Well, London mobs are so easily procured. I understand that you have become acquainted with Sir Robert Peel. But he is a man of great ability. How very wise of you to befriend the man who must be the next Prime Minister and a necessary ally in the unfortunate event of you becoming regent. The country will not take kindly to being ruled by a German. Since you are tactless enough to allude to such an event in front of the Queen, perhaps I should mention that Parliament were unanimous in supporting Albert as regent. They could have voted for you, of course, but for some reason, they did not. Goodbye, Uncle. Goodbye, Victoria. And I do hope you will take care. What do you mean? These daily drives of yours, London, seem so volatile to me, and it would be unfortunate if violets were to be replaced with something harder. She had no regrets, your friend. She worships that child, ma'am. What are you doing? Well, it is three o'clock and I have my bonnet on. I rather think I'm going for a drive. It's my duty to show myself to my people. Victoria, it's too dangerous. I was in more danger when Uncle Cumberland was here. Thank you, Baroness. I have decided to be my wife's companion today. I'm so glad. This is not me, I approve. See, you needn't have worried. Look how happy the people are to see us. Pulse is a little weak. You must rest, ma'am. My poor child, you are so brave always, but I think you should also be careful. Now you understand why Sir John and I kept you safe at Kensington. I always knew that your wicked Uncle Cumberland would try to kill you one day. He murdered his fellow before you were born. Yeah, nothing was proved, but I remember no one had trouble believing he was guilty. Do you really think Uncle Cumberland would try and shoot me in broad daylight? Not him, but one of his creatures. I'm afraid, Victoria, that the world is more dangerous than you think. 